welcome friends in another session of power bi so before starting this session if you are new to this channel please subscribe our channel and like the hit the like button of this video so today we will going to learn in the uh, in the session the dynamic mtd and ytd slicer right i will show you a page like uh, uh, don't mind i just built an uh, dummy uh, sales page here this is showing the basically sales the data is given state district and date wise sales and target right so we have only five columns here and quickly see the latest date which is 14th february 2023 that is today right <clears throat> so uh, in a single page uh some people have uh, some clients have requirements uh, th that this uh, this page filters by uh, mtd and ytd both right so instead of creating separate measures for sales and target and uh, you know it becomes very uh, hectic and uh, time consuming right so I, i have created a dynamic mtd ytd slicer here and let's see how it's work if i click over mtd the whole page is filtered by mtd right the sales is uh, showing here 440 and the target is 1589 this is the overall data right and this is sales by year so if you can see we have the latest data of till 4th feb 20 uh, 23 so mtd is showing data of mtd that is from 1st feb to 4th feb this is the sale of 1st feb to 4 feb 440 right and similarly if i click over ytd so this is uh, showing the year till date sales right so uh, the whole page we we don't have to create any separate measures like in measures i have created this ytd and mtd sales and then i put in this sales versus target by zones i am showing here this is the sales and in the map visual i i am showing sales right so i just simply put the field over here and created this measure mtd ytd toggle and uh, it works like a slicer right so we can simply click over here right so let's uh, learn it how we can do that so i just simply created a uh, dax for this function it is possible by a dax so let's learn how we can do that ytd right so there are three steps involved here we can also add a today uh, today slicer as well that will filter on the basis of today but here i am taking only mtd and ytd page right so first we create a variable let's take a uh, variable here right and the first variable is today function we will write over here today date right and we just simply write it today right so this today uh, function basically uh, this this writes the today date which is 4th feb right and next day 5th feb this is dynamically uh, we are moving right <clears throat> go to the next line we will create another variable that will be year start okay <clears throat> year start basically uh, that means uh, the latest year in which our data is moving so uh, basically today is uh, 23 so the year start from 1st jan 2023 right so our year uh, so we need to define here the year of start date which is 1st jan so we will calculate the field here so uh, we will use a function start of month start of month basically uh, returns the first date of the month that is first of every month but here uh, we will pass the date from uh, from date column which is this right we can simply put the argument here uh, which is date we need to uh, define the start of month from the our date calendar table this is the date calendar table if you are seeing here right and uh, we also here define it, it it now this function is not uh, enough to define the start of the month but for which month we have to filterize this uh, filterize this uh, variable as well so we will use year function here from now we can put here date okay from calendar table it it uh, returns the year from the date table and which should be equal to year from no no we will not write it today we will use our variable today date that we initially created this one right so, okay so it's done now now create variable so now it returns the variable the year so we have defined here start of month where year from date calendar equals to year from today date that is year 2023 and it will read right first of month now we will start uh, write a measure month start we define year start now this is a month start put calculate function here and start start of month and pass the argument date okay and filter we okay and we have to define the year 
year from date is must be equal to the year from today date function okay and we have to pass again one more argument month is also equals to from our date table because we are using it equals to month from today date right so you must be aware that we are creating this measure to calculate mtd and ytd so it will return it will return the dates from 1st jan to 4th feb and if we are moved to the next day it will return the date from 1st jan to 5 jan so it is it is a dynamic don't worry right so i need to put a I, oh there is a minor change here we don't have to put here month start of month actually we need to put here start of year function because we are calculating start of year right okay now month is equals to today date it's done now okay now we create another variable result equals to now we have to combine this both result right so we use the union function and we also name that column as well so we simply use add columns here and we have to uh, look our this function year start and month start so basically uh, this function returns a date right what it is a date is a reference of date set of dates so we are adding a column and we have to pass a calendar function here like in the column which kind of a data type we want so start date our start date should be year start we have created that variable just above that so we need to put here year start and the end date where where it need to be stopped that is the latest date of uh, today which is 4th feb right next day 5th feb and this this is this, this is will be moving like that so we need to put here month start variable so it defined here and uh, yeah just put the name of the column that is selection and we will simply named it ytd right till now no syntax argument okay we need to another column actually same for similar for mtd add columns right now the first argument here is calendar so we have to build a table here again we have to put start for mtd the uh, start date should be month start here right and the end date should be today date right that is today basically so we have passed this argument over here and again we need to provide this column name that is selection and we call it mtd right done we are done just simply put return mm -hmm. result okay so let's see how it, the table it's looks like is it fine or not so yeah table is built so uh, let's understand how it actually works you are seeing here the table the date brings here which we have passed the argument basically year start and month start and we combine these columns union year start and uh, month start so it basically have uh, multiple dates set of dates after the year end and month start and the column has ytd and mtd so let's quickly check our mtd so let's consider our year today i have taken this data sets for 2023 4th feb is today in the data sets i am considering this so you also need to consider this if i click over mtd so our date is first second third fourth right in mtd column if i click on data set over here mtd so that means it's showing data of all the data of this page from first feb to fourth feb if today is fourth feb right so based on this it's filtering down our data and similarly if i click over ytd and that means this show, it's showing data from first of jan 2023 this is the latest year till till the maximum uh, maximum date 1st of feb uh, okay i think there it's not showing till feb oh, wait i sort the data first ascending in, in ascending format so that we zero right 
so uh, if I click here you can see that YTD data is not showing correct but MTD is correct so let's examine what is the what is the actually error we missed in this day right this is the problem here we passed the argument month start right that's, that was the mistake so we have so that's why it's taken only first of Feb. that is the month of start instead of that we have to put today date so in uh, YTD now it's okay so if I click over the YTD here now it will gives the set of desired date right one two three four this is the YTD so based on YTD if I click over YTD now it's filtered data according to YTD dates and the MTD column has the date against against the dates of according to MTD and this is absolutely dynamic so we can cl simply create these measures based on this now you can see that if I filter the MTD here and YTD is showing two six one three right first of January. now this YTD is actually not matching because here our YTD financial year I have taken here from 1st April now it's correct right 2613 1st Jan to 4th Feb right so I hope you like this video and if you find this video useful please share it with your friends and hit the like button thank you so much